there is four circuit breakers right here. One turns on the AC power and the others are for the DC power. So we turn these four circuit breakers on. You'll see the green light on the DC power supply turn on. You'll see the green lights on this programmable logic controller turn on. Uh, you'll see this uh, green communications light here on this Ethernet cable. This Ethernet cable is communicating with this HMI, this touchscreen device over here. Um, <coughs> once it powers up, so here we have these uh, high voltage sensing units. These two units work together. Those are the voltage transducers. Voltage transducers, ones for the generator, ones for the battery. Uh, these two units will be replaced with one higher uh, rated voltage unit, and these two will be replaced by a higher rated. And you'll go over how that ties into the schematic as well. Yeah, all the wiring changes will be called out and the instructions for the installation. These two relays here are for the uh, starting and running the engine. So one's ignition and one's crank, right? Yes, one turns on the ignition, the other one turns on the starter or the cranking. Um, these are just uh, regular just terminals. This is here is a solid state relay uh, that's used to turn on the contactor. That's the contactor engage relay. Yep, so there's a single contactor contactor that connects the generator to the charge controller slash battery so this is the relay that controls that contactor good the next video will be on the HMI